Sangan. Hi guys, what's up boys and girls? Hope you guys are doing well. Now today's episode is really special because I'm revisiting one of my recipes that went viral on Facebook during the pandemic which is the Nyonya Laksa and in conjunction with a huge upcoming international Laksa festival that's happening all the way in Darwin the Northern Territory of Australia. And on the side note, just to give you guys an update of what's coming next, I'll be doing a three episode special of my entire experience in Darwin, and of course, dedicating one episode to the Laksa Festival itself. So stay tuned. As most of you already know, my family is from Malacca. And geographically, it's the Straits of Malacca that gave birth to the Peranakan cuisine, of which the Nyonya Laksa has made its name all around the world and I have been proudly advocating it for a while now. So this here is my version of Nyonya Laksa. Let's go! Now it's important to remember that there are three main categories of making a Laksa. First is your stock, then your paste, and your condiments. So now, I've already done my stock earlier, so rewind and have a look. And secondly, the second most important pillar in your laksa is the paste. It's aromatic, it's the thing that will make your laksa delicious. This is how we do it. All right, so here, I have about three liters uh, worth of stock um, that we have here, and we're adding the laksa paste to this. And the rest, we will keep it and serve it as a condiment together with our laksa. Give this a stir. All right, and to that, I'm adding about two teaspoons of chicken stock powder. Now, I'm using chicken stock powder because I didn't have liquid stock. I would have used half the volume of water and half the volume of chicken stock if I had it earlier on. All right, next up is down kasum or also known as Vietnamese coriander. This is what gives laksa that signature herbaceous um, aromas. All right, so this is just gonna go in just like that. And I have here, this is fresh coconut milk. If you're using coconut milk from the box, then you can cut the volume by half and mix it up with a little bit of water so that it's not too thick. Now look at this beautiful colour. Now we're going to simmer this for about a good 10 to 15 minutes so that everything, allow everything to sort of combine. Alright, now we're adding in two other condiments. This is tofu puffs. Now the tofu puffs will need time to sort of absorb all that flavour from the gravy. And the other tofu I'm adding in, this is hard tofu, so it's perfect for braising. As you braise it, it gets softer and also absorbs all that flavour from the laksa. Beautiful. Now you see that the oil has started to split. Now we're going to season this laksa base. Salt, give it a stir around. Fish balls go in. The reason I didn't add the fish ball in too earlier is because fish ball will shrink and get tougher. Yeah? All right. Now we'll move this over to the side and allow that to continue to simmer while we start preparing our other condiments. Here I have vermicelli or bihun in our language, <laughs> which I have already soaked in water. Yeah? This is the thick, a thicker variation of vermicelli than your usual rice vermicelli. Um, 
I like the thicker one because it adds more texture to the bite. All right, so now, water's boiling, the vermicelli goes in. A quick scald, remove. Because you don't want to overcook the vermicelli, that way you lose all texture. There we go. Bean sprouts, same thing, quick scald, bean sprout comes up. I'm sorry, I don't have a blancher. It would have been a lot better if I did. Make sure your bean sprout stays nice and crunchy. Okay, now I have my prawns here. I'm going to be poaching the prawns in some salted liquid. Fish cakes. These fish cakes have been fried yeah, to give a nice sort of crisp exterior and also uh, the nice aromas. There we go, fish cake in. Prawns are done. Nice, you don't want to overcook your prawn. There we go, beautiful. Now a hard boiled egg. All right, we've got a fish ball. Tofu puffs. Look at that, nice, soft. And by this time, they've absorbed all that gravy. Laksa gravy goes on. Carry on with the condiments. <clears throat> Bunch of cucumber. There we go, lovely. Now, I have some lime leaf. Remove the stem, bring them together. Thinly slice. Now these are the aromatics that we add on at the very end that will give the laksa a boost of fresh aromas. Put that aside. Now we also are going to need some Vietnamese coriander. Bring this all together, give it a rough mince. Finally, last but not least, one of my favorite herbs is ginger torch flour. And Nyonya Laksa is not complete without the ginger torch flour. Thin, super thin slice. Because if you cut it too thick, it's going to be quite fibrous and it's not going to be pleasant to eat. All right, just use your fingers and break it apart. There we go. Now, we go on with Vietnamese coriander. Now we hit it with some lime leaf, ginger torch flour all around. All right, and lastly, a nice dollop of the laksa paste onto the side, which we will also serve together with a nice calamansi. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. This is my version of Nyonya Laksa. All right, now it's time to taste. Look at that. Oh, it smells absolutely delicious. You can smell the spice paste, but you can also smell how rich and creamy it is because of the coconut milk inside. Mm. Mm. As you're biting into it, you get bursts of different aromas from the Vietnamese coriander, from the lime leaf, and from the ginger torch flower and they all just marry so well together with the laksa gravy. It's rich, it's mildly spicy, very, very delicious. Now, I know it is quite a feat to make, yeah, but if you break it down into different categories, it's something that you and your family can try over the weekend and definitely, it, I promise you, it will be worth it. Guys, if you have enjoyed this week's episode, please do click the like and subscribe button and please share it with your friends. Truly appreciate it, need your support. Just to update you guys as well, we will be traveling to Darwin next week. So if you're interested in finding out what the Darwin International Laksa Festival is about, do check out my socials. We'll be posting loads of content on my Instagram and Facebook. Links down below on everything that's happening in Darwin for us, okay? And guys in Darwin, I'll see you soon. Mm. My man, look at the size of that prawns though. Mm. You guys still here? You, you, goodbye guys, we're done. Eating time. Mm. Mm. Bye.